I'm Trevor McKean. Uh, legally, I'm Ronald Trevor McKean. And my dad was Sergeant Ronald McKean. On October 12th, 1977, my dad and his partner um, responded to a complaint that there was a man who was unlawfully at large. He had skipped out on a weekend pass from uh, a correctional institute in Ontario. And uh, he was seen at one of the local motels. My dad and his partner responded in the same vehicle. When they got to the hotel, they approached from different sides of the building. Uh, my dad made contact with the person he knew was unlawfully at large and was in the process of arresting him. Uh, what he didn't know was that he had an accomplice with him. When he exited the hotel, he pulled a shotgun on my dad and uh, there was a struggle for the gun and he was shot and killed. I was nine. My sister was 13 and I have a brother who was seven. My brother and I were asleep. Um, the police chief came to the house to tell my mom that my dad had been killed on duty that night. And she allowed us to, to sleep and didn't, didn't wake us till, till it was time for us to go to school. So we woke up at a regular time, at, you know, get dressed, get ready for the day. And my brother and I were sitting at the kitchen table, um, had a bowl of cereal, a um, piece of apple pie very unusual every morning the local radio station was on but that morning it wasn't on and my grandmother was there and again not something that would be normal my grandmother was wouldn't normally be at the house and so as as we ate our breakfast my grandmother was standing silently her arms crossed and she was looking at the floor when we finished our breakfast mom took us into the living room sat us on the sofa and um, that's when she told us that dad had been killed. The town of Collingwood has dedicated a street, McKean Crescent, in one of the new subdivisions in his, in his memory. On the, on the Pretty River Parkway, the bridge that goes over the Pretty River, that's a memorial bridge to his name. And at the detachment, we have a memorial garden outside the front of the police detachment that's named in part in his honor, and there's a memorial in the front lobby of the police station as well. Policing is a profession I've always had a great amount of respect for, uh, even as a even as a as a young kid and a teenager. Certainly, when I was in high school, I, that was my goal. That was what I wanted to do. I really enjoy helping people. I am very aware of the risks associated with my profession, and I don't take those uh, for granted and uh, those risks didn't make me change my mind. In January, I started my 34th year. I've, uh, I've worked for three different organizations and I'm very proud of all three of them. I had an opportunity to come home in, um, in April of 2002 and, and I've been here ever since. I've, I've walked the same beat I, I've, on the same streets where, you know, where he did you know, probably done calls at the same homes. Particularly when I was new here, people would tell me that they knew him or that they'd tell me a funny story about, you know, him catching them drinking and taking them home and then banging on the door and running away giggling while, while their parents came to the door. It was um, some pretty big shoes to fill. It gives me some comfort that his sacrifice has been recognized in the community. And the community recognizes it in a way that, that generations to come will, will know. Nobody goes to work and expects to, to not come home. It is a reality for some professions, policing being one of them, but that's not what we want. And so in some way, it helps us come to grips with the sacrifice that that he made you know we missed we missed out on um, holidays weddings he missed out on being a grandparent and the fact that he's been memorialized there and we pay 
tribute to that sacrifice is somewhat comforting as uh, for the family. It's, it's important for us to recognize or to know that they, their death meant something. I have been to many police funerals. I think it's important for the family to know that the death, although tragic, means something. I have friends and coworkers who are also on that wall. As a police officer, it's a nice time to go and reflect and remember our friendships and our friends and, and to know that what we do has purpose. I think that he would be pleased with, with my, with my chosen profession. Um, and yeah, I, like, I think he would be happy. I think I've done it right. My dad loved being a police officer and so do I. <laughs>